Hey, hey there, hi there, ho there, everybody. So we're back. We've got another project going on. I've never done this one before, so honestly, it kind of scares the hell out of me. But it shouldn't be that hard based on everything I've read, all the videos I've watched, and my research. But we're going to give this a whirl. We got new bars. Let's see if we can't get this in here. We got these. They are the Dominator Industry 10 inch meat hooks. So. Pretty slick. I don't know. I know everybody's doing meat hooks. Or they're still cool. I still like them. It's my first time doing bars. I couldn't be more pumped. Obviously, you can see they're pre-wired. Uh, even a handy little uh, wire here, so that way I can run my uh, throttle throttle sensor through. That shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, we'll find out. Other than that, everything should be pretty well plug and play. We got some new grips to go on, so we're gonna get rid of those Kuriakins that have been on there for a while. And did pick up the Harley Adversary orange and black grips to go on. I think that's gonna mesh pretty well with kind of the theme that apparently I've got going on. I'm gonna walk around. I told you in a video back that there was a new seat coming. I got the new seat. Hopefully you guys can see me. One with the saddleman, one with the road sofa. And so far I've got about 50, 60 miles on it. It's been cold up here in the Pacific Northwest. It's still cold, but it's getting better. But with, I've seen a lot of other, other seats, a lot of reviews. Everybody gets, you know, the color stitch with the lattice. Uh, you know, that, that it's what everybody does and they're cool looking. They're just not for me. So. I went with something I've not seen on any other videos uh, out there in YouTube land. So without further ado, we have the carbon fiber inlay. You can see that with the orange stitching, color matched orange stitch Saddleman logo. And of course, we've got some buffing that we got to do there and over there. And down here, aside from the dirt. Ignore the dirt. So definitely gonna have to get that done because got another plan coming up and we're gonna ceramic coat both the soft tail and the street glide. Never done that either, but best I can tell, it's not so hard, it's just time consuming. So both bikes are gonna get a nice detail. Gonna get some, uh, Oh gosh, what's it called? Clay bar, you know, then we'll hit it with that ceramic and it should shine like a diamond and a goat's backside. So uh, I'm gonna do best I can to record most of this, but since I've never done this, there's gonna be a lot of editing, stitching things together while I figure stuff out. So far, I know we need, I need in particularly, uh, Phillips head. I've got my 3 8 inch ratchet with a half inch socket, a T20 and a T27. Reason being, I've got Phillips head on here now. Used to have the stalkers, uh, which were hex, torx, I can't remember. So, and did get some new mirrors. The new mirrors that we're, I'm doing are essentially the same thing that's on my soft They're just uh, stock Harley mirrors, nothing fancy, nothing super over the top or expensive because at the end of the day, they're mirrors. So anyway, I'm going to cut this, uh, I'm going to go over, we're going to get the windshield off. It's not hard. We got three screws here. And then if we come around, we've got, uh, we've got a, T27 here, a T27 here, two on the other side, and then the fairing here just comes right off. But I have found that since I've got the auxiliary lights, I'm gonna take those off, and it makes pulling this fairing off so much easier because I'm not fighting those aux lights. Uh, in order to pull those off, I've got a half inch acorn nut there, half inch acorn nut there, comes off and I've got a little electrical plug. You just push the pin down, pull it out, set those aside so they don't get all scratched up. And 
once I'm in there, then I figure out where my plugs are. I've got to drop my perch. So I've got, I believe, T27 here, T20 here. This will come away. I got a couple of towels set aside so I can wrap all this up in the microfiber so it can hang on both sides so I don't ding anything up. And then we take the bars over, get the throttle sensor out of there, and hopefully, just take a couple of minutes, chase it through the new one. So we'll be back. All right, so something I forgot to touch on was we got these little bolts here. They're double-ended, so those get pulled out of here and here on both sides. Pulling this lower one allows us to remove this little uh, lower fairing skirt or whatever it's technically called. And then under here, I already went and unplugged them, but we have this guy that came out of right here and these two from right here. And it's all fairly cut and dry. You can't really screw this up. They only plug into one way. And I mean, you got two, two plugs here that go into two plugs and one plug there goes into one plug, you know. Now, obviously these two look drastically different. And as best I can tell, those are the end of my plugs based off of looking at the pre-wireds. Now mine are pre-wired for heated grips. So if we take a look here, we got one, two, and I guess one, two, three, and then heated. So hopefully that's all. So I'm gonna find out, but I don't think there's anything up here I have to do. So I got my GPS, I got my WIM mounted in here somewhere. So, but if I realize I screwed something up or I missed something, I'll let you know, we'll be back. So progress has been made. Let's check it out. So fairing actually really wasn't that bad. Now I did have to pull a couple of screws, put that down from here so I could release this uh, ignition skirt or whatever it's called, uh, just so I could lift up on the fairing a little bit more. Cause early, all I did was I lifted straight up and then let it lay forward over the fender, which I did get covered up. And I did find, I did forget a plug. Let's see if I can hold the light and whatnot. Plugged in right here. That was off of the main harness that came out of the bar itself. This guy here, come out of there. And only one was plugged in. It wasn't both, there were two plugs. So I think one, I think this one here is for heated grips from the left side. And then this plug, which apparently I cannot illuminate. So, so I was mistaken, it was five plugs, not four, but it was not hard. It was not hard at all, actually. Um, and I had to remove these four, and that was with a quarter inch Allen. And then I just came right out, kind of caught myself off guard. May or may not have put us a surface layer scuff there because I wasn't paying attention. I didn't cover the tank. Cover your tank. So not worried about it. It'll buff out. So but other than that, those four came out. Everything was already disconnected. Went ahead and wrapped up my, my controls. I'm going to go ahead and clip this tie here just to free up a little bit more room in my brake lever. And it looks like it might free up a little bit of room with my clutch lever too. Not, I shouldn't need it, uh, but better to have more than what you need and on the side of caution. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off there. I'm going to disassemble my controls, but since my workbench is a tad full, I think, I might take it inside, do it from the comfort of my recliner, do it on my carpeted floor, something so I'm not screwing up the new bars. So we'll see.
but we'll check back with you guys. All right, we're back. And I have to apologize now. I might have gotten ahead of myself and forgotten to grab the camera and film a few things. So I'll try to walk you through the stuff that I kind of omitted because I was in a groove, had the beer going, had the music going, and totally forgot about you guys. So sorry about that. I'll try to be better. So we got the auxiliary lights back on. Everything's still filthy. Been out for a couple of rides. Said it was just a couple of half inch acorn nuts there to get those lights back on and off. Ended up having to take this off. Don't know if I mentioned that. That was real easy. Take this nut off, take the light off, take the stud out and on both sides. And then this comes right off. So, and ta-dow. There they are guys, 10 inch Dominator Industry meat hooks. I'm on here, that ain't going nowhere. You know, still got the typical amount of play in the throttle. I, I don't love it, but there's not a whole lot I can do because I'm butted right up against that flange. So I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. I think we'll be fine. Got the new mirrors on, still gotta get out there and ride it, get them dialed in because with my luck, I'm gonna get out there. I'm gonna be staring at the sky on one and somebody's tires on the other. It's, it's a whole to do. So, but I sat on it before I got everything tightened down, pulled them forward back, you know, got them where I liked them, not running into the speaker here, not bumping into anything in here, binding any wires. I am glad that I went ahead and cut those zip ties and freed up the clutch cables and the hydraulic cable and it kind of it really did give me a couple of extra inches of room. Um, yeah, maybe like like an extra inch, inch and a half. I mean, yeah, six inches. So somewhere in that neighborhood. But got the new grips on. They feel nice. I'm actually really excited to get out there and ride on them and see how they do. They're they're comfy. I might even like them more than the Kuriakins. So only time will tell. But all the lights work. All the horns work. All the horns. The one horn works. Blinkers work. Went ahead and re-synced them just to be safe because I did unplug the, bl the front blinkers and turned the light on. So didn't want to risk having things out of sync and you know pulling codes on the BCM. I think it's the BCM. Uh, starter. The bike wanted to start. So I don't think I screwed anything up other than cinching down my fairing before I kind of got the lower fork, upper fork skirt, lower fairing skirt thing. So I had to loosen my four Torx bolts, the T27s, slip it onto there, get it back on, take those studs off it. I'm a dumbass and that's what I did. So I had to go through and undo it. I'm tired, but all said and done, I started this project at about 6.30 my time. It's Almost 9.30, so in and around 6.30, my daughter came over and I had to help her with the computer thing, but uh, I'm gonna say it, I mean, all of a sudden, start to finish, beer breaks and cussing and whatnot aside, three hours, I mean, don't get me wrong, pulling that uh, throttle position sensor cable thing, oh, that sucked, but at least I only had to do the one, thankfully, they gave me a cable that was already pre-run, so I guess that made it easier, but I called that everything but a handlebar by the time I was done with it. So if I had to do it again, I'd buy their product. I like it, but I would buy the, the full plug and play set that already had the throttle sensor in there. I would have spent the extra money. It would have saved me probably, I don't know, 20 minutes trying to get it in and risk damaging some wires, which I was super worried about. But I think I got lucky because I sure as hell didn't know what I was doing. So, but all in all, I think it looks good. I'm anxious to get out on a ride. Just, we got some 50 degree days upon us. I uh, got a motorcycle show here in town at our local fairgrounds going on on Saturday. So I nothing else. I know I'll be out on the bike Saturday, giving it a whirl. Should be a good time. So now I just gotta clean up my mess. You know, 
hide any and all evidence. But uh, thanks for hanging out. Sorry I kind of got into a groove and forgot about you, but I'm gonna be better. We got more products to come. I got that box. Not gonna tell you what it is. Also got a ceramic coat product. Not gonna tell you which one that is yet, but they're coming. So anyway, uh, hit that bell, hit the, the uh, subscribe button if you could. Yeah, if this has been helpful, that'd be great for me. Uh, but otherwise, take it easy and we'll catch you all next time.